my legs are shaking like that. <laughs> so, good. I even drank a little bit of uh, whiskey. I was sweating like <laughs> Anyway, this is not my primary language. I speak Spanish. I'm doing all my best for you guys to understand and deliver a message for you guys. Who's going to be a little bit technical, but uh, hopefully you guys get some value from this, right? It's a topic that is a hot topic that needs to be covered in this place because I consider very, very important to grow your business. A little bit of my background. Like I said, I am I coming from Venezuela in 2015 after being kidnapped in Venezuela. That's the reason why I'm here in the United States. We're still in the same process of immigration to be finally a permanent resident of your country. Which Let me tell you. But anyway, I start in 2015 looking for jobs in this country, and I found this company, College House Holding Junk and Moving, in 2015. I applied for that country for that uh, company for the first time. Got rejected for my language, for my documents, no paperwork, no social security, no work permits, and I got my pregnant wife with me. We're literally. 200 bucks in my pocket, you didn't know what to do. I'm a chemical engineer in Venezuela. I got my master's degree in chemical engineering, and I got my PhD degree in chemical engineering in Venezuela. But here, I was not alive. I was not alive. My background is a little bit technical, so that's why probably today, I'm gonna do all my best for you guys to understand my message, because it's very important. I was working as a wingman, as a helper for them, then I move up to uh, ops, sorry for a truck leader. Then I move up to ops manager. I won an award or uh, in college of for college of the year in 2016 among 1,500 employees. That gave me the opportunity for them to promote me as a general manager. After that, many months go by, and I got a promotion for the corporate office to be a franchise ramp-up coach for the East Coast of the United States. After traveling a lot, I had to spend time with, with my baby, with my wife. I decided to quit. I found an opportunity to work for one hundred guy young for a few months, nine months as an assistant manager. Learned a lot. I think it makes sense because I didn't know anything besides jump removal. That's my passion. And I see myself retiring in this industry in 30 years, to be honest with you. After that, I got a proposal for uh, to build a business. We will jump in one hauling in Houston, Texas. We grew that location with three three locations. We franchised that business. I exited the business because they had honestly partner issues with them. I was actually the only one working. So whenever you choose your partner, your business partner, make sure your partner delivers value to you, and you're not the only one working. It makes completely sense, right? When we have a partner that really works together, and it's actually somebody that adds value to you, that's a great partnership. But today, it's not about me. It's actually about you. It's about you. I'm here because I want to share something with you guys that I feel is going to revolutionize your business. It's going to make it better. In that bag, by the way, I got a surprise for you guys at the end of my presentation, which is something super important for me that I want to share with you guys. That's my journey, my journey. By the way, this draw was my daughter. She did it. <laughs> my wife, my son in the United States. Sad face, happy face. That's how she understood. Thank you. Guys, Google Ads sucks. <laughs> and that's why it works. <laughs> By the way, I didn't mention, I am currently an official vendor for 1-800 Got Junk, and right now I am working with my company, Junkify.com. You can search online. I'm not here to pitch my service. Swear to God, I'm not pitching my services. Actually, I don't give a crap if you guys hire me or not. This is not the intention. My intention is for you guys to understand, learn from this, and understand the reality behind Google Ads because it's not like thank you. It's not like people you see online 
You see a lot of videos where people Google that. And it's just about the setup. Set up your keywords, set up this and this and that. But honestly, nobody has shared the meat of Google Ads. And I was like, why? Of course, because it doesn't make any sense to share your secrets, right? But the invention here is for you guys to understand what is behind those successful campaigns that really move the needle in your business. So Google, what is Google? Google is basically a box full of answer. It's a magic word, box that you literally type your needs, your question, and it gives you answer, right? But uh, why Google is so important? It's because of the search engine dominance that it has. 90.7% about Bing, Yahoo, and others. There's a reason why Google is so important. The reason is because of this, attention. They have attention. The attention is a new currency. That's a quote that I got from Alex Mosi, I guess, or Gary Vee. Yes, Gary Vee. Yeah. Attention is a new currency. So they have been able to monetize their attention to the point that now they charge for you guys to be featured on the first position of Google. It's because of their attention. So it works, right? By show of hands, how many of you believe that doing Google Ads is too expensive these days? Keep your hands up, please. How many of you are currently running Google Ads and wish you had a better return on your investment? Finally, how many of you deep inside believe there's gotta be a better way? So we are in the same boat together. <laughs> See, a few years ago, when I started my agency, there's something inside of our agency that back in the day I was doing marketing for, for home service, deep cleaning, pressure washing, stuff like that. We transitioned to what it is today, Junkify, for a reason, because it just makes sense, right? For the background. I got a few clients. There was one client that really changed my life. One, day, one day he told me, after many attempts to make this Google Ads work, he told me, Xavier, look at my face, brother. Let's grab some coffee right now. Dude, you suck. <laughs> you suck. Just like that. No filter, no whiskey, no coffee, just you suck. <laughs> you suck. That really made my heart beating so fast. I was, can I say that word? Yes. I got fucking angry with myself. With myself, honestly. I'm a very competitive person. With myself, no, nope. with others, with myself. I feel that we need to find the best version of ourselves every day. Not sometimes. My goal today is to show you and prove in the next 35 minutes that yes, there is definitely a better way. And by the way, I have 90 slides. This is the 11. Hopefully I have the chance, the chance, if you allow me to finish, this is very important. Yes. Woo! I don't mean that my way is the way, it's my, I don't mean my way is the only way to make this work. That's not my intention. I'm just saying that what I'm going to share with you guys today, it was, has worked for us. We're currently managing a little bit over $97,000 per month on Google Ads budget, a little bit over $1.1 $1 .1 million per year in just Google Ads spend. Wow. I'm not saying that to brag, swear to God. I'm just saying that to let to tell you that it has given me the option to try many things. And yes, I am probably the guy that nobody sees on YouTube, online. I'm very introvert person, but I'm the person working behind the scenes to make things work. And that's my reality. Let me tell clear expectation about what, what you will get from my quick presentation. I will not show you how to set up a Google Ads campaign step by step today. You can find that online. There's plenty of videos out there. Uh, actually, it's too boring for me to show you this today. I wanna show you the meat of the Apple Google Ads. As soon as I finish, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed, do nothing about it, and just give up. Or you'll feel inspired and ready to work as soon as you leave this event. Hopefully, you are the latter. Go yeah. no Tom! <laughs> it sounds so crazy. It sounds so crazy. Like, I'm going to be here, and I just, oh my God, sorry about this. <laughs> All 
right. This is my promise, right? By the time you leave this event, you have a clear, actual framework to make this work. So just pay attention, take some notes. This is gonna be probably the most boring presentation you will ever hear this year, the most exciting presentation that you will ever hear this year, or something in the middle, right? So how can we create our own log to make Google Ads work for us, not against us? Let's find out. I got for today, for, for you guys today, three frameworks that I want to share with you guys. In my mind, it was like, how can I make this work to make this complex topic of Google Ads to be understood by people that are actually not technical because you guys don't have to be technical. There's one thing that you guys have to have is the judgment to see if something is working or not. As a business owner, we're not here to build Google Ads campaign. We're here to make money, right? Yeah. Cool. Investment mindset. Time plus resources plus skills. Time, we have to have patience with Google Ads. I'm sorry, but that's just something that I will not coach you today to be patient. This is just something that comes naturally. I'm not gonna coach you right now how to make the money because my topic right now is Google Ads. What I'm going to tell you is how to get some skills that you're gonna drive home because honestly, I admire you guys a lot because being here and leaving family behind is not an easy thing, right? And you guys are here to learn. That investment that you have made is gonna create something for you guys when you guys come back home. How much, sorry, how much should you invest in Google Ads for a brand new campaign? How much do you guys pay? How much? Ten grand. Ten grand. Cool. Check this out. As 2024, if you don't have a minimum of eighteen thousand dollars in liquid funds for the next three months, whether in your bank account or a credit card that you can set and forget. Let me repeat again. That you can set and forget without going broke or putting your business and your families in danger. Forget about it. Honestly, I'm just saying this to tell you, to discourage you that don't do Google Ads. All I'm saying is that this money right here might be for your family. Maybe for your kids. I'd rather be the person right now telling you the truth and save you the money to take your money that you will spend to Google and trash it because you don't have the patience and the resources and the skills. And I'd rather tell you, don't do it. $18,000 represents $6,000 per month times three, 18, $200 per day. Right? And that's just for Google Ads. For Google Ads, yes. But what about those comments online that you see, hey, just go ahead and just spend 100 bucks on Google Ads just to see if it makes work. It makes sense, yeah, you can just spend 100 bucks to Google. Google will, will gladly take it. It's a business. Will it make sense for you? Let's prove. And by the way, let me read this slide, the next slide, because it's kind of technical. But, uh, if you were to invest $100 per day on Google Ads, these are the numbers that you could expect. California market, right here. So I took my time to do this presentation of 90 slides just for you guys. In California, right? The average cost per click, yes or no, Andrew? 15 to 25 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah, Let's go with, with 20 bucks, something in the middle. What we want to do right now, let's calculate the maximum number of clicks we could possibly receive with our budget. It's simple. We take 100 bucks divided by 20, which is the cost per click. We got five clicks per day, right? Cool. Now, let's talk about the conversion. Conversion is pretty much the percentage of people who click on your ads and then convert. Now, here on the conversion side, I want to take a minute, drink a little water to explain you something real quick. <laughs> For Google, Google will trust you if you tell Google one conversion for me is that when, whenever somebody lands on my landing page or website, that's a conversion. Google says, great, that worked for you. Does it work for you? No. Google, 
A conversion is when somebody clicks on the button, and that's a conversion for me. Google will say, okay, perfect. Does that work for you? No. It's a conversion as well to go on an online form, submit it. Does that make you money? No. Because that lead right there is a cold lead. You have to call them. Does it make sense to tell Google that a conversion is when somebody clicks on your button or the phone call? And it's one second duration phone call. Does it make sense for you? No. For Google, it makes sense. Google will trust you. Here's the deal. A lot of marketing agencies out there are doing this. I'm not saying this to talk about anybody here. I care about you guys because you guys are here investing money and it needs to make sense for you guys. You can tell Google that your conversion can be anything and Google will trust you. It has to make completely sense for you. The closest one will be a phone call. It could be probably 60 second phone call. But here's the deal. Is it actually a conversion, 60 second phone calls? It's not a conversion. A conversion is when somebody actually clicks on the ad, go to the landing page, go to the bottom, call you, help the call with you, engage with your value proposition, and then you set them on the calendar, from the calendar, you send your guys, and then from, from your guys, the guys close them because they're great closers, they make the money, and that's done. That cycle is from the beginning all the way to the offline conversion, which is whenever you collect the, the cash. The real real is that you can see a lot of conversion percentage out there, 50%, 100%. You can do a million if you want to. It doesn't make any sense. It makes sense for Google, but not for the business owners. Now, how does it look your ad campaign for the first 30 days? First 30 days, your conversion might be five to, five to 10%. The first 60 day, 15 to 20. First 90 day, 20 to, 50 to 25 conversion rate. Let's say conversion rate, one out of 10 visitors convert. Take the 10 visitors from your site, multiply by the cost per click. You got the cost per conversion. Cost per conversion, AKA cost per lead. When you invest $100 in the eyes of Google, Google take it as a $3,000. 100 times 30, that's $3,000. I think Matt was talking about sometimes not getting jobs good in days, and you told me the same here. It's because Google will spread your budget throughout the entire 30 days. Just because you are not smart enough, and nobody is smart enough, that Google, that can, they can predict when there's a demand that is looking for their services, and now your ads are shown depending on the characteristics, demographics of that person. That's why day one you can see zero leads, but you spend 120, and then 60 bucks, zero leads. And then you spend 400, you get two leads. And then 120, no leads. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Right? It's a leads budget distribution. Now, this is something that I really love. Back in those days, I was trying to figure out what's going on with the jump removal industry because sometimes we have high season, sometimes we have low season, off, off season. The reason, reason is that we have kind of like a bell curve indicator that shows us how the industry behaved throughout the year from month zero to month 12. We can see it's like a bell curve. The top is kind of like the uh, Super Bowl of jump removal, which is the summertime, right? The lower the demand, the higher the price for Google is going to be. So it would make sense for Google to charge more money per click on those slow seasons, like right now, for example, because Google is a business. Google needs to make money. Google give a crap about us, like literally. All we have to do is just be smart enough to do a good setup that literally takes time. Me and Andrew, we were talking yesterday, like, dude, we were actually having dinner. Like, how in the world am I going to present this, right? Because there's so many things that, things that I'm probably admitting right now in the presentation, but hopefully you guys can get the value that I want to drive for you guys. Let's calculate the maximum number of conversions you could possibly get in 30 days. Remember, $100 per day, 
that's 3,000. 3,000 divided by 200 bucks, which is the cost per conversion, that will get you 15 conversions per month. That's math, right? Assuming your booking rate is 50%, do you guys know what is booking rate, right? Okay. Assuming your booking rate is 50%, meaning, Andrew, what's booking rate? Closing on the phone. Closing on the phone. Not, it's not close rate. Correct. Booking there you go, booking rate, yes. Close rate is whenever they get paid, you get paid on site. But booking rate is around 50%, let's say, out of 10 phone calls you close, you book five. That's 50%. So let's say 15 leads times 50% average is around 7.5 leads, around eight leads. Assuming your average job size of 300 bucks, that would get you a revenue of 2,400. The input was $3,000. The output is 2,500. Google is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> right? I've been there. I've been there. And right now it is so far, I mean, it's just funny to see this. But when people tell you that in your face, in your life, depend on it, you're leaving, your wife, your kids, being fired from a company just because you're not good, good enough. It sucks. I wanna take a moment right now. I'm gonna get a little bit off the topic here because I, I feel something right now that I, I think is the right thing to do right now. Back in those days when I was trying to figure this out of Google Ads, I stopped getting clients for almost one year and a half. The reason was because I was ashamed. I didn't want to be rejected again. I said to myself, I'm gonna make this fucking Google Ads things to work like if my life is depending on it. I was doing DoorDash those days, believe it or not. There was one person that still believed in me, and he's yours. Thank you for not giving up on me when you have all your reasons. Now we don't have the time, we don't have the resources, we don't have the skills, we don't have patience, we don't have money, we don't know how to. It's not that Google Ads doesn't work, it's that we are approaching it with the wrong investment mindset. But if we have time, the resources and skills, awesome. See here, in Google Ads, money accelerates conversions, and conversions accelerate optimization. I tell you, what is that? The more conversion you have, the more optimized the campaign is going to be. See? But in order for you to get conversions, you need time. But you need resources. But if the ad setup is correctly, you need skills. See, that is not that is It's complex. And I need to be real with it. This shit is complex as it gets. And we'll be admitting probably like 20 or 30% of the thing for respect to you guys for the time. This is right now, California, Andrew. $3.05 per click, $13.55 cost per conversion for one of the private clients that we have. I'm not saying this to brag you again, just saying what is possible when you know the right approach of Google Ads. Laying the foundation, that's the number two. We're gonna talk about demographic research. Use what matters most to your audience as leverage. And number three, you need an account set up for the strategy. Let's talk about the demographic research. I think this topic is very valuable for you guys to understand, but because whenever you guys hire, hire a marketing agency or even doing this by yourself, this is something that needs to take care, sorry, this is something that needs to be considered more than anything in the world. Demographic research. How in the world we're going to run a Google Ads campaign when in reality, you don't even know how to mark or where to market. The goal here is to find what is the money. Remember this, job removal is an expensive service on the eyes of the people that don't have the money, but it's actually a luxury service. So we have to market people that have money. Let's be real, we're here, we're John Hollard, but we are playing in that industry that is luxury. We need to market people with money, otherwise we lose. Lay the foundation here. 
age 35 years old, gender, mostly female, median household income, over $75,000 per year, population operational area, 600,000 people. What is that? That right here is what really cost me so many months, so many times, so many things going and running to try to find out where to market, how to market. If you don't know your target audience, you're smart getting blind, right? Check this out. Let's define the area that includes these two elements. This is very important. More than these two, median household income and population. Yeah. Guys, if you're marketing, even for Google Ads, right? You're marketing in an area that is below 600,000 people, stop your ads right now. The more people that you have, the cheaper it gets for Google because the more eyeballs that Google can reach, the cheaper it gets. It's just like uh, Google is rewarding you for doing this correctly. But the more people you have, the better. Three steps for the demographic research. Number one, define the miles radius of your operations. Number two, consider all the zip codes within that radius. Number three, pull demographic data, remove zip codes with a median household income below 75K, regroup your new, whoops, your new operational area, ensuring the population is above 600K. So here's the deal. It's kind of confusing and crazy. So how am I gonna pull this together? It's kind of like a formula that after many trials and error, I found out. This is what really will move the needle as a foundation, the foundation of your ads account. Let's define the miles rate of your operation. Let's say Happy John Grimoire, he said, hey, I wanna just market and do my operation within 10 miles rate. Cool, let's define that. That's Los Angeles, for example. Zip code 90012. Just an example. Miles radio, 10. What is this Xavier? This is just a software, it's called Map Business Online. You can Google it. It's a license, you have to buy it. It's not that expensive. But you can also do a market research and a demographic research with the Census Bureau of the United States. It's for free. I can't believe this is the free information. Or USPS.com. What's next? Consider all the symptoms within that radius. Boom, we have it. Right? Again, this is a job that needs to be done by your marketing agency, or you have to do it. Number three, let's pull the demographic data, remove symptoms with a median household income below 75K, regroup your new operational area, ensure the population is above 600K. I have manipulated the software to try to remove the zip code, that doesn't meet the criteria. On this side of the screen, you can see column A, zip codes, column B, media household income, column C, population, right? So, we already removed this zip code, right? What's next? What is next is that now we have the new area, and we're gonna see that in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> I love this. This is a graph that shows you the sweet spot, which is the curve of populations against the curve of median household income. This right here is a sweet spot. If you wanna do Google Ads. Before, after. What's next? Well, it's just only Google Ads. Well, actually not. Because if you're running Google Ads, it means that you understand the industry at least in this industry, normal people live, right? And you do operations. Where are the landfills? Where's the facilities? Does it make sense to remove zip codes? Does it make sense for your operation? It needs to be here. So you can see it. Use what matters most to your audience as leverage. What really matters to an online audience looking for job reward service? Think about it. Is it that your trucks are shiny and big? Is it because your name is one hundred got job? Is it because it's college house? Is it because you're handsome? Doesn't matter. I've been testing the shit out of this for many, many months to get to a conclusion when you can articulate what your prospects want better than they can 
and you anticipated before they even ask you in. I'm talking about prize. They're looking for a prize. Guys, they don't remember. Some of them, the majority of the people, they won't remember your brand. Actually, for Google Ads, we're talking about cold traffic. People that actually doesn't know shit about your business. But they don't even know you. From top of the funnel, all the way to the on site for your guys, the same message needs to be across all the way down so it makes sense. We're asking to get a free quote in one click, get your 10% lifetime value, lifetime discount, for example. It has the call to action, it has the proposition, and it has an offer, right? On top of the funnel, the user lands in your landing page. Now, by the way, I'm gonna take my time here. If you pull up your phone right now, there is what I call the, goal, the golden clickable area, which is right here below, right here below. If you guys don't have a call to action on this area, do it, you're leaving money on the table. I did a study probably like six months ago where we were tracking the clicks with a heat map. And you can see how people, they love having the option in the thumb to call your business. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all these platforms, they have mastered this to the point that if you pull up right now Instagram, the main goal to action for them is right here at the reach of your thumb to post. Why cannot do that with job removal? That's why I'm here. You, give, you have to give your clients a reason for them to call you. We'll answer your call within one to four rings. The other day I made a post on Facebook the biggest hack to make money in this industry, pick up the phone. <laughs> it makes sense, right? People don't pick up the phone. Either you get a call center or get some BAs to do that, but somebody needs to pick up the phone. You have to have a proposition here. Get your free no obligation. No obligation, you're removing risk. In their mind, you're removing risk. Jump removal quote in just one click. No pressure to come in, just call. No time wasted, quick call, no surprises, transparent prices. And then a picture. You need an account set up strategy. It is over. This is what makes you money. All of this, we want to start with the first one, ad account structure. Very simple, it's something that you can find online. The ad account is structured by this. You have the ad, the ad account, the campaign, Underneath the campaign, you have the ad groups. Underneath the ad group, you have the ads. Within the ad, you have the keywords. Let's define the campaigns that really matter for the job removal industry. If you do dump surrender, you don't, perfect, just ignore it. Job removal, demolition, clean out, dump surrender, donation pickup, brand, and competitor. You might be like, donation pickup, are you, are you serious? That's the first thing I was thinking. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna answer the question. It depends on how you market. If you really market to the point that they understand they have to pay, there's no freaking way where you're not doing this. There's a company right now as we speak, multi-million dollar company in LA, in California. They're literally doing just donation pickup. You have to actually prepay. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense if people are doing it. And they're running ads, so it may be very profitable for them. What is brand and what is competitors? Why creating a brand campaign? What is a brand campaign? You're literally marketing your own name, your own business name. Jedi John Removal, for example. You want to protect your name against other marketers and people that might know this hack. What I'm talking about is that if you're a business owner that is pulling, putting all your money into your side, for example, and people can see your name on the yard sign. I'm gonna Google your name. Guess what, guys? It's so crazy. Believe it or not, if you don't know it, it's crazy. You can beat your own name, and they can show first. And because people don't remember the name of your business, they just remember like, Jedi has the yellow truck? But what about if I have an ad that says something about the yellow truck here, click here. They would click there, and they would just go, and you literally 
persuade the client slightly to what you want. It's possible. Competitors, the same thing, but in the other way. You're going to market or yeah, you, you're going to expose the competitors on the app by telling, for example, for 1-800-GOT-JUNK, if you want to beat 1-800-GOT-JUNK, you could have something like 800 times better blue trucks. Really? You can literally get a lot of clicks and a lot of conversion. I can assure you with my life that these two campaigns will make you so much money. Multiple ad groups per keyword theme. I see a lot of people doing Google Ads and they only have one campaign, jump removal. They might have two, three ad groups. And the person that is running is just trusting, like the owner is trusting the agency or whoever is doing. Like, do you really see what are you marketing? Why are you marketing trash? Just a negative keyword, dude. Doesn't make any sense. You remember the ad groups below the campaign? The ad groups is the perfect solution for you to start getting big jobs. For example, if one of your ad groups is called Cleanouts, sorry, your campaign is Cleanout, one of the ad groups is called House Cleanout. You can also do another ad group, which is called Home Cleanout. Or you can do property cleanout. You can have multiple variations. You can have garage cleanout, safe cleanout, or cleanout, and all the variations. All I'm saying is like, it's gonna take time. It sucks. Google that sucks for real. It sucks. But that's why it works. It takes so much time to build a lot of ad groups. In our account, we have 425 ad groups, which are pretty much variation of names for services that really matter to the actual business. Brand, you can have, for example, Sonoma, Strong Holly, you can have Sonoma Jump, Sonoma Strong Jump, Sonoma Jump Removal. You don't even know how your client is gonna find you. It might say something like Sonoma Jump, something like that. Inside this ad group, we have the keywords, right? Competitors, why have got Jump, Valley Shams, Jump King, Go Load Up, Jump, jump Loggers, you name it. Again, this is the opportunity for you to market a specific. The key for Google Ads, for, for Google Ads, is to be super specific with all your ad groups, all the keywords, all the landing pages. All I'm saying is like every single one of those ad groups, it requires a separate landing page. What the hell are we talking about here? Do we need 600 and something landing page? I'm sorry. But yes, <laughs> it takes time, it takes time, it takes time. Do we have to do it all at once? No. By the end of my presentation, I'll, I'll get you a QR code here where you can literally put your phone, scan it, it will take you to a form and you can fill online. And I was trying to, to see how else or what else can I do to provide you guys value where you can literally see the behind the scenes not this presentation, it's kind of like rough presentation, but just in details, more, I mean more stuff in detail. So I'm gonna create a space for all of us to ask questions, to provide your information there, so we can all discuss and help each other for the next two months. By January, we should be done, but I'm gonna help you guys one-on-one -on -one with people from my team. If you have any questions, about Google Ads, we will answer for you. Even if we have to hop on a call with your marketing agency, perfect. I will be gladly to talk about this. We finished already the ad groups. We went through the account, campaign, the ad group. Now we're talking about you need keyword setup. It's not like go on Google, go to Keyword Planner, get keywords, any keywords, and just put in everything on Google Ads and Pray and see if it's going to work. I have put this into five buckets. You need first level keywords. You need proximity keywords. You need budget related keywords. You need locality related keywords. I know. And you need second level keywords. For example, first level keyword will be house clean out. We all know, we've been in this industry, this is a lot of money. 
proximity, house clean out near me, that's one of the keyword. House clean out services near me, house clean out nearby, just variation, there's more. Budget, house clean out price, house clean out quote, house clean out estimate. Locality, house clean out Sonoma. The more local you are, the better. Second level keyword, could be any keyword related to house clean out. Can you see a banner here? I'm talking about house clean out, house clean out, house clean out, house clean out. Everywhere. Have you heard from people on YouTube or any place? Recently, Google made a change in the algorithm. Have you heard that doing broad match, key, broad match keyword is just like, whoa, don't do that, man. You will get burned. Yes, until last year. Last year, if you were doing broad match keyword, yes, now Google update the algorithm and you can have Broad match, key, broad match keyword as your first level keyword to bring a lot of impression. That's the only keyword that might be broad. Proximity, budget, locality, and second level keyword, you duplicate all of this as a phrase match and exact match. What is phrase match? What is exact match? Phrase match is when you put a quotation mark on the keyword and depending on how the people is looking for the service, they can swap the match and phrase. They can say something like clean out house, and then still you will show up. But when you do exact match, they have to type exactly what it is. Right. There's another caveat here. This type of keyword obeyed to something super important that you can find online, you can research this, is that there's short tail keywords and long tail keywords. Long tail keywords are less popular, that's why they're cheaper. In other words, this requires a lot of time to build this. But once it's nailed down, it's good. Now, relevant ad copy. This is probably one of my favorites. This slide right here, I had like five or six more slides. I have to reduce it because it's too much. But to summarize this point, you can get your ad copy such as related to the price or quote, get a free quote, remove the risk. In one click, get your 10% lifetime discount, and you can have an image. What is this, Xavier? Is this kind of like a verification mark? What is this, Xavier? Is this like a Google icon? Verification? You can trick people by making them understand that this is the ad that Google is recommending them to do. By just putting stuff like this, they will click it. Actually, you can even have an image here that can say trusted or something like that and have a, a badge right, like this. What are these images about? This uh, cubicle, uh, refrigerator, debris removal. The more specific you are on the ad, the better it is. What about if people are looking online, so, something like cubicle removal, and it shows Something here about cubicle removal, and they show this image right here. In their mind, they will be like, oh, this is this. I'm gonna click there. It works because of one reason. Google is super smart. There's a lot of metrics in Google. If you haven't heard about the CTR, click-through rate, it's pretty much the ratio between the impressions of your ad divided by the clicks that that ad gets. For Google, it is a metric for you or for them to say, hey, these people are legit. Whatever they put here, people click on it, they find online what they're looking for, and they're converting. As a consequence, for you putting the effort, Google is going to reward you with putting your ads in first positions, preference position, with lower cost per click. You know why? Because Google understands that you took the time to do this. Google's not playing around. Google wants to reward you, but they want to see effort before. It. Number six, hyper relevant landing page funnels for each ad group. I already covered that. For example, trampoline removal, a landing page about trampoline removal with a picture of trampoline removal and all of this copy about trampoline removal, right? With a click to call, get your free quote now, the proposition, everything. If you scroll down, Check this out, you can see a lot of information about trampoline removal, how it works, videos and everything. 
the more specific you are with the landing page, the better, because now people are looking what they type originally in the magic box of Google. Service times convenience. How it works is as simple as one, two, three. So this is pretty much the value proposition. You can have something like same day service, trampoline removal, same day service, like in the second section of the funnel or the landing page. You can have a section on the landing page, how it works. It is as, as simple as one, two, three. Give us a call, we get you the quote, and then you're happy. Are we lying? No, we're not lying. We're giving the quote under our terms. It's not that we are going to provide a quote, we're gonna provide a quote on our terms, on site. In this section right here, we are being specific, we're being intentionally with the search, we're giving the user what they want, and if you have a reputation section with reviews and video testimonial, that is like the cherry on top of the cake. It's just freaking good. I learned this from one of the most brilliant marketers that is Russell Branson in the book that he's got. He says, one call to action. I didn't picture this in my mind. And I went through a lot of tests with this. Having a book online, having a lead form to fill out, having a phone call. Let me tell you guys, to save you the time and energy, just do phone calls. If you do an online booking, the clients in their mind, they are thinking, oh, it is a commitment. I need to book an appointment so I can get the thing removed. But the reality is that they are looking for a price. So what in the world, we are not answering this question of price. We are just asking them to go to the online booking. If it's up to me, I will remove all the online booking from my website. You wanna make money? Do a simple form to get the information. Name, email, phone number, what do you need? They submit the call request and that's it. Make it simple, make it easy. Doesn't make any sense to go online, ask for the social security and all the addresses. Like people don't wanna give you that information. People want price. Leverage price, their intention, on your favor. Target location, exclusion, and add schedule. Do you remember what we did, the demographic research with it? We do all the targeted locations, and we exclude what well, it doesn't matter to us. This right here, what is it say? It's in Google Ads. You can do that. It's a location tab. You can do it. You can add the locations, and you can add exclusions, and that's it. Use all assets. There's a section in Google Ads, it's called assets. On the assets, the more you have filled out in this section the bed. This is kind of like the decoration of your ads. For example, if you're running a promotion, mattress removal starting at 99 bucks, you can do that on the, under the price section or on the promotion section. You can connect your Google My Business on Google and Google will feed, will be fed by your Google My Business. You can have a lot of images per ad group if we're talking about trampoline removal, you should have trampoline removal pictures related to the ad group trampoline removal. The last one, give Google signals about your target audience. This is something that not many people talk about, but at the beginning, Google don't know anything about your business. It makes complete sense to say, Google, hey Google, my target audience are realtors, property managers, homeowners, you name it. Who's your client? You know that. That's why it, it makes completely sense that whoever is doing your marketing understand your target audience. It's only your responsibility to tell them or you judge them, hey, do you know my audience that's now down at the beginning of the thing? I didn't mention this. When you're doing Google Ads, you require around 90, thank you sir, appreciate it. Man. You require 90 days minimum to make these things work. And I want to prove this to you in just a minute. Optimize for conversion, the ninja strategy. Account self optimizing, it just a screenshot. I'm about to wrap up. Did you know that you can use codes, JavaScript, you can do, you can leverage technology to insert a code here that we will get you whenever you guys sign up for the thing, I will get you that. By the way, blast me online if I'm gonna ask you for money, please. I will not. But here, I will get you these codes so you can self-optimize your campaign. Can you imagine 
how cool it is to have technology to start optimizing your campaign as you go. For example, whenever the cost per click goes above $10, shut it down. Whenever the click-through rate goes below, shut it down. Turn it off. That, you can do it based on, you know, codes. Feeding the monster. What is feeding the monster? How cool it is when you're running Google Ads to feed the monster with your own clients, AKA, the clients that you are generating and you're sending them to Google on Excel spreadsheet. Hey Google, these are my, my clients. Your client has a database. That's why it's important the database. That's why it's important that you guys to have autopilot, for example, right, from my man Andrew. They can download the, the data, and once you download the data, you have Gmail's account, you have email. Don't ask me how and why, but Google knows a lot about those people, and they will look for people similar to those people that you're uploading. It could be your old client, or it could be your recent conversions. This right here is important. You can have conversions whenever you go inside and you get a cash. That client right there is worth a lot because that data tells Google, hey Google, that client closed, gave me money, it's valuable. Can you imagine doing this automatically? You can do this automatically. It's not like you need to stop uploading every single time. There is a way to do this automatically and literally the campaign is self-optimizing without any effort. When I understood this, after many trials and error, I was like, man, if I would have known this, how many headaches, dude? You start, you start a, mar a marketing, you start a Google Ads campaign with a maximized click bidding strategy. What is maximized clicks? You tell Google, Google, get me a lot of clicks. It doesn't matter if they convert or not. I don't care. Are you okay with that? No, right? But we have to do it. Why? Because this phase is the data gathering phase. You pretty much, you're borrowing money. You're giving Google money, resources. And probably you will get a few conversions, but I will not promise you you will get your money back. I promise you you will lose money in 30 days. What happens when Google provides you a range of your cost per conversion? Let's say it's $90 cost per conversion. That's super high, cost per lead. Well, we split the curve and we wanna do maximize conversion, business strategy. It tells Google, Google, you know what? I got $6,000 per month to spend. You going to spend it, Google. But I don't want clicks, man, I want conversions. Google's gonna ask you, okay, what is a conversion for you? Is it phone call? Tell me how many minutes, how many seconds. You, are, you only know what, it, what is valuable to you. Like having a one second duration phone call? Are you serious? Like a conversion? It doesn't make any sense. Google is gonna start dropping and dropping and dropping the cost per conversion. And naturally, there's gonna be a time that Google is going to buffer in the same pattern and you're like, okay, it's ready for the next phase. This phase right here, they are self-optimizing, Google self-optimize for you and they will drop your cost per click to 55, for example. After that, that's the best phase to finish this presentation. Target CPA, cost per lead, cost per lead reduction phase. This is a cost per lead reduction phase. You take it from 55 to 20. How are you gonna take that? Well, you tell Google, Google, you remember I asked at the beginning to send me clicks? You did, thank you. You remember the second phase, you asked me for conversion and you gave me conversions? Now Google, you know what? I'm gonna control this shit. I'm going to do, can you give me $54 cost per, uh, cost per lead? Google is going to give you $54 cost per lead. But the more demanding you are, the more money you have to put. That's just Google. It's just the game of Google. You can literally reduce from 55 to 20 bucks, or even $10, even $8 cost per lead in some areas by just doing target CPA. Take a screenshot of this if you want to. You will get this presentation anyway, but this is something whoever is running your ads, they should know. It's not like the biggest strategies that I'm talking about, it's not like they are there 
for a random reason. They are there for a reason. And you're going to use the AI power and the algorithm on your face. That's the QR code. You can scan it, right? You can access, and you will have access to that. And I have something for you guys here. I was working on this project for a little bit over two years, looking for the need of John Hollers to have a different source of revenue. For example, commercial. How to get commercial clients. These are the frameworks that I learned throughout my careers, working for college shops and how they got John and even for myself. And today, I am launching my first book, <gasps> Commercial Leads. Wow. You can get it today. You can get it today for free just for the event on Amazon. And I was like, but there's something else. There's something else. The John Potters, every time that they're taking a phone call, they don't have a framework on how to sell those leads. How can we have something that doesn't exist right now online? And you guys can understand and learn from my own mistakes and others. And I create my second book, <laughs> Sales Framework. Thank you so much. <laughs>